Hi everybody, for this task we're going to create a branching activity with Google Forms. A branching activity is a bit like a quiz, but it customizes the learning content depending on the user's responses. So let's take a quick look at an example of a finished branching activity. This activity is about the correct use of apostrophes. We've got a multiple choice question here, and if we select the wrong answer, we get sent to or branched to a review page. And here's an explanation of the rules about possessive apostrophes, plus a YouTube video that we can choose to watch about this topic. Then when we hit next, we go back to the question and we have to enter the correct answer. And when we do, we get some positive feedback with the correct message. And then we can continue to the next question. So you'll notice that we're only seeing one question or message at a time, and that's because we're seeing what is called a section in Google Forms. And the sections are the building blocks of branching activities in Google Forms. So let's take a quick look at the branching structure we'll use. For each question, we'll have a structure of three sections. Section one is the actual question, section two is the review, and section three is the correct feedback. So when we start with section one and the question, an incorrect answer takes us to section two and the review. A correct answer skips ahead to section three and the correct feedback. If we do branch to section two and the review, then the next button takes us back to section one and we have to answer the question correctly. But if we branch to section three and the correct message, the next button just takes us to the next question. So let's design a branching activity right now. We can go to forms.google.com to get to Google Forms. And from there, we'll just choose blank at the top. That takes us to a blank form. And let's go ahead and name this homophones. We have one section with a question already. So let's go ahead and add two more sections with this button right here. And we'll call section two review. And we'll call section three correct. Now let's move back up to section one and create the question. I'm first going to give the students some directions up here to choose the correct word to complete the sentence. I want this question to be about the homophones your and your. Your as in the possessive your and the other your as, the, as in the contraction you are. So I'll type in the sentence with the blank here. I think this is blank pencil with a blank for the your. Then we'll move down and create two options, your and your. Now if we click on the three dots here, we see an option for go to section based on answer and we click on that. Now we see navigation for each answer. Choosing the first answer, which is incorrect, should go to the review. And choosing the second answer should go to the correct message. Then let's move down to the review section. Here we'll explain the usage rules for the your homophones. And I have some text ready to go, so I'll just paste that in. And notice that among these icons on the right that you have the option to include a YouTube video. You can either search here for a video, or if you've got a link ready, you can insert that. So I'll insert a link to a video that I found. Now let's make sure that after the student finishes here, the navigation directs the student back to the question. So after section two, we want to go back to section one. Now let's look at section three, and there's really nothing else to do. Normally I would want to add more questions, for, but for our purposes, we can end the activity here. The only thing I want to do now is provide a message for students when they finish. So I'm going to go up to settings and presentation and I'll change the default message to great job, you may exit this activity and save. Okay, now let's take a look at how this looks with the preview button. We've got our first question, so let's try the incorrect response and that takes us to the review section. And then if we hit next, we go back to the question and we have to change our answer to the correct one. That takes us to the correct message. And then if we hit the submit button, we get the final message that the activity is finished. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.